Hello ordinary and beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hello, my name is Lina and it's nice to have you here. Uh, hit the subscribe button and for those of you who have been here before, I'm so excited because I am doing a Movie Monday video right now and I miss doing Movie Monday's video. So today I decided to share with you my thoughts not about a movie I watched in the cinema. I decided to share with you my thoughts about a new TV show. I'm pretty sure you already know the name of the show. Westworld. Now, I'm a huge movie fan. And when I say huge, I mean I go a little deeper. I searched the story before Westworld. So, I was able to watch the original movie from 1973 with James Brolin, Richard Benjamin, and I'll try to say this right, Hugh Brynner. So, the original movie from 1973 had a budget about 1.25 million dollars. Yes, 1 million dollars to 250 thousand dollars was the budget and the box office had been about 10 million dollars. This is pretty good for 1973 and I saw the movie. Okay, maybe because I live in 21st century and I have way, way higher expectation when it comes to visual effects. But considering the fact that it had been 1973, the movie is it, quite good for its time when it comes to effects. But when it comes to a storyline, I'm sorry. I know that the director of the movie and the writer is Michael Crichton. We all know him. Jurassic Park, after all, it's epic. Well, not exactly epic, but, you know, it was a huge thing. But the, my point is, the original movie, well, the plot is a little bit too... Mm, too ordinary, according to me. Okay, we have this amusement park with three different time destinations, okay? The guests can choose between American Old West, ancient Roman uh, city, uh, which is Pompeii, yes, yes, and the medieval Europe. So if the visitor wants to go to the American Old West, they go there and they have some drinks, uh, they have a fight, they have a prostitute from the local saloon, and they shoot someone and that's it. Okay? No feelings, no emotions, just bang, 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 bang. The old story, just like a kid can pretend, you know, just put the cowboy hat on and get the uh, uh, toy gun and just... And the moment there that is supposed to be a significant one is when the robots start to disobey, you know, they just snap like that. They really start to hurt the guests and according to the movie, to the whole storyline, they can't hurt the guests. That's how they're created. But without any explanation, the whole system just breaks down and that's it. Robots start to kill people. I recommend you to watch the original movie so you can have your own opinion about it. I'm not saying it's a bad one, I'm just saying as an emotion it misses so many things, but as a story, it's uh, well, the idea is there, it's a good one, but I needed something way more when it comes to a storyline to be a little bit more developed. But anyway, that was about the original movie. Now, let's go to the TV series that we are watching on HBO. So, I was waiting for this TV show for about three months, and then my computer broke down, as I have mentioned in my previous video. You already know that. I was I didn't have any computer for over one month and yeah pretty much I missed the TV show so now I have a computer I downloaded the first episodes and I started watching it and I was so amazed by it what other TV show can I compare it with definitely Game of Thrones is just as vulgar just as um, border breaking when it comes to 
a plot. The plot is so much more complicated than in the original movie. We have actually real emotions here. I mean, I see the point, I see the storyline, I understand the storyline. It's it has so much more. It's just it's, it's it's not just about the guests, you know? Because in the original movie, everything was about the guests, you know? They are here to just relax, to have fun, to have a vacation. And here, we see another perspective. We see another point of view from the robots. They are trying to develop their own mind. Um, you know, artificial intelligence. And it's so interesting. I mean, it's amazing. I was so impressed. I just, I don't think I will be able to find enough words to describe to you how interesting I find this TV show. So I will skip this part and just recommend you to watch it. And I will go with the cast. We have Evan Rachel Oates. Uh, I have watched her in other movies before. I didn't used to follow her career that much so I can say that I'm amazed by her, but with this TV show, she really stands out for me. I I mean, I like her acting here so much. Her, her character, Dolores, is a very interesting one. Uh, she's the oldest host in this uh, uh, storyline, and uh, she is... Well, I will use a specific line from the TV show. She's unraveling, you know. She's starting to find herself. Which is strange, she's a robot, you know, android. But it's so amazing. Uh, who else we have here? We have... We have... Uh, Jeffrey Wright, who plays Bernard. He's one of the um, companies engineers, I believe. Uh, uh, also, we have Ben Barnes. Boy, his role here. His part here is so amazing. I'll say it this way. If he had played Dorian Gray this way, he's playing now this uh, character, how, Logan, Logan. I would like pictures of Dorian Gray way better. His character here is so vulgar and annoying and you just want to punch this guy but so realistic you want to punch him that wow I really want to punch him that's how good he is Tandy Newton oh my god she is fascinating I think her character is very important for the whole storyline I can't wait to see how they are going to develop her another actor that I was so happy to see uh, out of his usual look was uh, Rodrigo Santoro. Uh, usually we are used to see Rodrigo in this beautiful, you know, this handsome classy look, you know. He usually is, he usually plays always the good-looking guy who always gets a girl or something like that who, and all women are going after him like, <laughs> you know, like, a, yeah, like you're going after a puppy or something. But here he has such, um, how to say it, his, um, his appearance is so rougher than usual. He's way more masculine and uh, dirtier and so... Ah! That's how I feel. Ah! That's how his character is. Um, stronger, rougher, dirtier. And of course he's a criminal. He's supposed to look like that. I like how they have put scar on his face to make it way more realistic. Honestly, I want to see more from him. And finally, I have left my two favorites, two iconic personalities in cinema. Ed Harris and the amazing, the one, the only, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Ed Harris is an icon when it comes to American cinema. He is strong, he is um, believable. He knows how to play this role. I have seen him in positive roles and in negative roles. And in the negative roles he's good, but this one is really, really good for him. And Sir Anthony Hopkins. When I hear his name, I know for sure that this is going to be something 
astonishing, something mesmerizing, something fascinating. I remember a, an interview with him about uh, his movie with Catherine Hepburn, The Lion in Winter, and Catherine Hepburn had given him this advice, just don't act. He doesn't act, he becomes this per person, he becomes the character, he gets so much into the role that I really believe that he's this Dr. Ford, this uh, scientist, he is fascinating. I mean, he was enough advertised for this TV show. That's how amazing he is. He, his name is enough to go and watch a movie because you know that he's going to be the best thing in the entire plot. Woo! And now we go to my favorite part, the music. The music is so... I mean, I can listen to this melody all day long. I just want to play it on my work. You know, I want to sit on my desk, I want to do my job on my computer and listen to the music. Theme music composer Ramin Javadi. I think I'm pronouncing it right. This, this is what he says about the music. The show has an anachronistic anachronistic feel to it. It's a western theme park and yet it has robots in it. So why not have modern songs? And that's a metaphor in itself wrapped up in the overall theme of the show. Very right by the way. The park is with western theme but it has androids there. So why, why you must have absolutely a western uh, theme song? Just go with a new one. I think this TV series definitely, definitely are going to be my uh, my new favorite TV show for sure. Something else, if I have forgotten, in this story, uh, the park is based only in the American Old West, not like in the original movie where they have three themes. The theme here is only American Old West, that's it. That was my review about the Westworld, guys. I think it's an amazing show. The critics like it a lot. I like it a lot. I mean, uh, after Game of Thrones, I think this is the most fascinating and outrageous TV show right now. You know, it's a good thing that they are not together, you know, at the same time. So, after this one is over, we are going back to Ga Game of Thrones, which is awesome. So, yeah. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Share with me your opinion about the TV show below in a comment. And uh, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share because sharing is caring. And as always guys, remember to keep on smiling because obviously life is way too short from. Bye guys!